hello and welcome to my channel my name is danica and i'm a part-time reseller on the poshmark app i sell on poshmark canada and poshmark us and if you're new to my channel welcome if you're already subscribed to my channel welcome back so happy to see you let's get into it today's video is a bins haul so i went to the bins last week wednesday and thursday I had a good reason though my bestie tabs was in town and so i had to bring her um so wednesday i went to the bins before i picked her up from the airport and so this is part of that haul i'm kind of splitting it up into different uh i think i'll do two different hauls one of them is this and the other one is all the lulu aritzia and urban outfitters i found that's tentatively going to be in a whatnot show so yes after being a whatnot hater like hardcore hater. i did sign up for it and you know what i have a few people that i follow on instagram that made it look less annoying a lot of people made it look very annoying and I was very annoyed with um, some people. I'm just, I don't know, it was not my vibe. But then I saw a few friends sign up for it and it looks like they're having fun. And yeah, I just feel like when Clubhouse was just coming out, and it got super like clicky really fast and that's really not my vibe at all i don't like to feel excluded i don't like other people to feel excluded and it just kind of felt that way so i dipped out of clubhouse real fast just not really not what i'm looking for it's i love a sense of community and that didn't feel like a sense of community it felt like like you got to watch the cool kids table at lunch and no one actually invited you to sit and chat with them. That's how I felt. So I'm hoping that by joining Whatnot, I just give people good deals, first of all. Um, I have the ability to source things for really cheap at the bins. Everything at the bins is a dollar. So I can get things cheap and then I can run them cheap. So if you're looking for some like good inventory for cheap, just come to my shows. I can ship to the US, I can ship to Canada. Um, I guess Whatnot does have cross-border shipping because you do your own shipping. So anyway, I'm excited to experiment with it. I'm not like fully there with whatnot my onboarding is next week or the week after that i think i had to like kind of schedule it with my work schedule but if anything i'm like i can make youtube content with it <laughs> if i end up not liking it or if it's just not my jam and that's the thing like as much as i was judgmental about it and i can admit that <laughs> i'm like you know what maybe i'll actually like it maybe I can just have fun with it and we'll see. I'm not, anyway, whatever. I'm, I'm, we haven't even started the haul yet and I'm in full ramble mode. I've already worked today. I'm coming home from work, so I'm already on one. <laughs> I'm already in a tizzy. <laughs> not actually, um, but anyway, I was, flying and tabs i will link her channel up here um tabs mccaffrey if you don't follow her on instagram if you don't if you're not subscribed to her on youtube what are you doing her channel is the urban goddess shop and that's my best friend she a real bad you know um anyway so she came into calgary last week for the poshmark party um so she flew in on wednesday i went to the bins before she flew in and where was i going with this oh yeah okay so i was flying today and she texted me and was like do you have a picture of this specific item and i was like not on my phone 
but I can get one to you. And she's like, okay, because I talk about it in my YouTube video and it would be nice if there was like a picture I could put to it. And I was like, hold on, I'll be home in an hour. And I sent that text at 1.24 p.m. and I got home at 2.20 p.m. So punctuality unmatched. Um, but the item that she was talking about is in this haul and I'm very excited about it. And so I wanna be able to link her video to my video because she's linking my video to her video maybe anyway wow i'm like all over the place today what else is new but let's get into it i'm very excited to show you this haul because holy moly the bins were fire that day and this isn't even like the best stuff the best stuff is going to be in my whatnot show if there's anything here that you see that you're like Let's be honest, this will not be processed anytime soon. If there's anything you see here that you're like, um, I want that cheap, can you run it on whatnot? 100%, send me a DM and I will include it in a whatnot show. My first one will be themed, I think, Lululemon, Aritzia, and Urban Outfitters. Okay, so if you're looking for like premium, that good stuff, be on the lookout for that. But without further ado, there was a lot of ado today. Let's jump in. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here's your reward, actually seeing me show you the haul. Okay, so first things first, this dress I thought was so adorable. Um, it's, I think it's like a linen blend. That's what it feels like. And that's why I grabbed it. Um, yeah, it's the end of August. Is summer almost over? pretty much but I just really like this and I'm thinking of bringing it to consignment store I don't know if they're still taking summer okay there's no fabric tag or anything but the brand is story which I think is like probably just a boutique brand I've never heard of it and it's like this very very cute short sleeve dress it has pockets Love it. Next. Okay. This was maybe to go to the consignment store. I don't know. Um, this brand either does like really well or sells for freaking nothing. Is Zara. This is Zara Basics. So probably you can find like if you can find a Zara blogger favorite, you're set. You're selling it for more than retail. Um, this, I don't know, we'll see, but it's just like a very cute green dress with a waist tie. See? And it like, <laughs> see? You can't see anything. Um, but it ties and it's like kind of a faux wrap. I just thought it was really fun. This one is hardcore 90s Y2K and not like the new Y2K stuff that they're doing now to like relive the past. This is genuine vintage Y2K. 725 Originals Walmart brand from way back when and it says major heartbreaker. I mean, you cannot get more 90s than this and like 2000, 2001, 2002 I'd say love that i will be listing in my closet um this is just a good old pair of nevada high-waisted jeans these always do really well for me even when they're tiny there's someone tiny out there looking for high-waisted jeans you know relaxed fit jeans um <laughs> okay <laughs> birdie uh wild one co on instagram was binge watching my youtube videos and she's like new drinking game take a shot every time danica says i'm keeping this and i'm like yeah fair enough or when i say that I'm sweaty and I'm like I just thought of another one that's like when I go like this and I'm like I'm pretty sure there's someone in my hallway <laughs> okay Nevada jeans high-waisted 
100% cotton mom jean situation. Those always sell real quick for me, like I said. What's this? This is Z Supply, we would say that in Canada, Z Supply. Um, actually, I was just looking at a consignment store post today and they had this on their list of brands they were looking for. So is this like a Nordstrom brand or something? I just got it because it says Self Love Club and I was like, that is so cute. It's a size medium, look at that, <laughs> weird. That will go on Poshmark. Or I'll bring it to consignment. This is John Galt, which is Brandy Melville. If you watch Ryan and Jack's channel, Ryan always says Brandy Melville is one size, and that size is extra small. One size, like, um, yeah. This is, it's a size, not my size, but it is a size. Wide leg. What's this pattern called again? I forget, but anyway, wide leg trouser, high waisted. These will go straight to consignment. They pick up Brandy Melville, John Galt. This is Old Navy, just Old Navy. Um, it's a tunic shirt, size medium. This is for me to say I'm gonna keep and then not keep and actually just list on Poshmark. <laughs> These are, okay. I'm kind of shook, honestly. I don't think I've ever found this brand before, but it is Max Mara. And they're just like army green trousers, joggers. The bottom has like a little snap detail. So anyway, these are real soft. They're super cute and they are a size, who knows? Mm, size eight. So those will be listed on my Poshmark. These will probably be a good thing to actually list on eBay, which has been on the way, way, way back burner for months. This is Shambhala. I don't know if this is like a good brand. I don't think it's like a bolo by any means, but I just really like the style. Um, they're kind of just like ribbed joggers and I feel like fall's coming up and people want like all the cozies. I'm all about the cozy. I mean, I'm always like that. <laughs> These are American Eagle jeans, very distressed. These are size 12, I might try them on. But they're like heavily distressed. I usually have a no, no hard pants rule. <laughs> they're very cheeky. Okay, whoa, that TikTok song just went into my, bra my brain when they're like, my name is Chicky, 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 Chicky. I don't know if you know the one. This is a corset. They always sell like decently well for me, honestly. Halloween is coming up. And this is a size XL. which is like subjective because it's obviously very adjustable. The front has these clasps, but the back is lace up. So it says XL, it could fit down, it could fit up. Um, yeah, anyway, oh, I mean, I mean, come on, adorable. Next, okay, the shoe situation at the bins kind of upsets me now because I used to make out like a freaking bandit. Oh, shoot. Uh, with the shoes at the bins because they would put them in bins and I would be like the only one who cared to dig through there pretty much. There was like a couple of us that would dig, but a lot of people just did not bother. And now they're on shoe racks. And so, oh, these, oh no, it wasn't that. I don't know, something smells. Anyway, Fly London, size eight. 
but I just found um they're like pretty worn on that side. They're size eight. I'm an eight and a half. They might fit me. Okay, this is what Tabs wanted a picture of. So it's something I'm very excited about. Doesn't happen often that I find like vintage graphic t-shirts and crew necks. But this is just gorgeous, gorgeous vintage Hanes Ultimate Cotton. And it's a yellow knife graphic, which if you're Canadian, you probably have a general idea of where yellow knife is. If you're in the US, you probably don't. It's a remote community in Canada, but it is a community that um, the airline I work for flies to, and I have overnights there pretty often, and it's very far up north in Canada. I mean, it's not as far north as you can go, but it's definitely northern Canada. I don't think it would be considered the Arctic, I don't know but anyway um it is in the territories so yeah i love yellow knife um i fly there like i said pretty often i have thrifted in yellow knife i have sourced in yellow knife i have an igtv on my instagram page that has a thrift haul from yellow knife and i found good stuff like i found some Harley Davidson. I found some good boots. I don't remember what brand they were. Aquatalia, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a very remote community, but also a very um, tourist. What am I trying to say? Like they have a lot of tourism in Yellowknife um, for Northern Lights actually. So in the winter, our flights are packed going to Yellowknife and coming back um, for, yeah, like tourists going up to see the Northern Lights, hopefully. That's like crazy to me that people pay that much money to go there and like, well, anywhere in the world where you're trying to travel to, to see Northern Lights and you're never guaranteed to see them. Like it could just be cloudy. It could just not happen. I've seen them and I've seen them in Yellowknife and they are gorgeous. I've seen them in Calgary too. And during a flight, I think from Toronto to Calgary. I digress. I love Northern Lights. They are so pretty. And if you've never seen them, I highly recommend like putting that on your bucket list because I almost cried the first time I saw them. Gorgeous. Anyway, so that's the story between, behind, between, behind this crew neck. Um, it's just like really cute. It's got this little log cabin and a crow and um, yeah, it just says Yellowknife Northwest Territories, a legend in the, a legend in the frontier country. I mean, it actually doesn't have a year on here. So that's kind of interesting, actually. And there's nothing on here. Okay, it says adult large. I just tried it on and it's quite oversized. Next. This I'm pretty sure is a PJ shirt. Um, it's Northern Reflections, which is an iconic Canadian like brand, kind of, well, in my opinion. Um, but it's just like this plaid flannel. I don't know if I want to keep it. Um, I'm. I always ask like people in my life if there's anything they're looking for when I go thrifting. I'm like, do you need anything? My sister-in-law finally was like, if you find flannels, let me know. She's looking for like a mustard colored flannel and I haven't found a mustard colored flannel, but I have found a few different colors. So I'm going to send her pictures and be like, if you want any of these, let me know. This is American Eagle. Um... Curvy, super high rise jegging, size 10 short, which I'm also going to try on. They're just like little cargo pants. I don't actually have anything like this. Like not even close. So if this fits, <laughs> I am keeping them. But if I don't, if like even one cell in my body is like, I don't like how this looks on me, they're gone. They're not making it to my closet. This is for consignment. Anything new with tags, usually I'll pick up if it's in good condition because something can be new with tags in bad condition. 
um, I'll pick up and bring to consignment. So these will go to style encore. They're just um, Calvin Klein trousers, size six. Or I could do a new with tags, um, whatnot show. I don't know if anyone would be interested in that, but it would be like a bunch of different kind of brands. These are Levi's 504s, but I will be turning these into cutoffs, of course, because that's what I do. Even though it's like end of August, um, I could just make them throughout the fall and winter and then list them all in spring and summer. Um, but yeah, I love Levi's cutoffs. They usually do pretty well for me. Uh, I usually list them for like 50 and then send offers of $35 for closet clear out and it, I do well. Um, this is just like a no name boutique brand. I think like winner's brand Rolling Stones t-shirt. I don't know. I had to take it. I had to grab it. Okay. This I'm like shocked. I am shocked. I love a good roots. Oh, it doesn't say it on the bum. <laughs> Roots salt and pepper sweat. Um, these are a size large and it's got the um, elastic at the bottom and the beaver on the front. And then this is also a Roots salt and pepper graphic. And this is a size extra large. So I don't know if someone bought both of these and donated both of these. But top is extra large, bottom is large. This is just a vintage guest jeans um, jean jacket, size medium, and it's like cropped, which I think is so cute. This should do really well for the fall, so I can't wait to get this listed, actually. I should do that soon. <laughs> this is... Um, just a pair of vintage jean shorts. I sold a pair almost identical to this last week, week before. They were listed and sold within a day, within 24 hours. I'm not kidding. This brand is, I don't know, I can't read. Johnny Q. A lot of times the name is on the button. So that's, if I can't read the back, I just read that. And the name is on all of the, um, what are they called? Grommet, grommets? <laughs> Don't come for me. Um, anyway, so those must be like good quality. This is very neat. Um, anything made in Hawaii, I'll usually grab if it's a Hawaiian print. And so I did. This is Maui Maui Island shirts, size medium. And it's just like, this is very on trend right now. Size medium. I don't know if I already said that. I think I did. I should check to see if it was even made in Hawaii. Nope, it was made in China. <laughs> anyway, still still on trend. Um, and it's like very soft. Whoops. These I was going to put in an Aritzia reseller box and then I found a flaw so I'll just list them myself but there is a pull back here but they're like linen joggers um oh they're cotton they're not linen but whatever either way either way these are airy they're just for me to bring to work just some pajama pants. <clears throat> oh, this is for a different haul. Whoops. I didn't even see that. This is cut from the cloth. It needs like a good OxyClean bath. It's like quite dirty. Um, it is new with tags though. So I'm just going to spot treat it. Um, and then, yeah, bring it to consignment, ready for fall. It's a size extra large. It's the Cara jacket. And it has a tag on it for $135, so that's kind of crazy. Anyway. Anyway, this is Zara. This is like a very cool, well, in my opinion, 
ja like tr um, jacket. This is perfect for fall. It's like very lightweight, but still would keep you like decently warm. And it's a size small. I really like that jacket actually. This is um, definitely going straight into my personal closet. It says the illest big papa the Notorious B.I.G. in memory 1972 to 1997. There is no date on here. I don't, it does not strike me as being vintage at all. Um, I think it's just like made to look that way. But anyway, it's an extra large and it's mine. <laughs> this is another flannel that I will be sending a picture to my sister-in-law. Um, it's just an old navy buffalo plaid. If she wants it, she can have it. Um, this is another pair of vintage Nevada high-waisted black <laughs> jeans. These are also tiny, tiny, tiny. These might be like slightly cropped. They look kind of short, right? What does the tag say? 29 by 32 flare fit? Uh, oh yeah. It was just kind of folded. But a size 29, I would put these at like a size 26 at most. But I'll measure them and we'll see. We're almost at the end here, folks. Okay, this is also new tags. It's just Old Navy. Just an old navy dress, size small, but it's very cute and it's brand new with tags, so consignment or potential new with tags, what not show. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a new with tags, what not show. It would just, like I said, be like all different kinds of brands and not different kinds of styles and sizes. Um, it would not be like any kind of curated anything other than just being new with tags. And last but not least, last and least, actually, this is Shein. I always grab it at the bins to bring straight to consignment. They always buy it, which in turn extends the life cycle of that garment, at least by a bit, hopefully, because I can't stand Shein. I can't stand seeing it in the thrift stores, in the bins. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's everything for this part of the haul and yeah i hope you enjoyed it if there's anything you're interested in let me know ask me to post it on poshmark or ask me to include it in a whatnot show and i will do my best and i will see you next time see ya.